And they give me circuit boards. Which is definitely... Oh, hello. Something I want. Okay, so there is a wall here that I can deconstruct. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Crafter. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and I actually think now is a really good time to bring you back in, because I came up here to see if I could grab some super alloy for the first thing I was going to um, do today. However, as I found my first piece of super alloy, I found a common larvae, which is something I have not been asked to find yet, but I can be sure that I will be. And wow, does it look different up here. Let's be honest. I mean, I'd like to jump across that gap because I can see a super alloy over there, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it. No, I'm not. Oh, no. Yes, I am. I did think I set up a drill over here, but I don't remember if I did. Oh, look, I can climb. Ooh, ooh, hello. We're up. Oh, holy shit, I did not actually expect to get up here. Um, okay, wow. Wow, he says. Um, and now I'm stuck in a hole. Oh, God. Oh, God, looks like I'm going down. I'm going down, mayday, mayday. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, I didn't know if I'd set up a drill over here or not, because um, I couldn't remember if I did manage to set a drill up here for the super alloy. The answer that appears to be no, but I do need one. I I thought I... Ooh, I'm going to run out of oxygen. Um, That's unfortunate. Yeah, I thought I had... But it's been a couple of weeks since I actually played and that's a bit of a shame for me because I'm actually really loving this game. This game has been fantastic. Um, so that is only because of my recent sort of ill health that I haven't played rather than the fact that I don't want to play. What I wanted to do was get that super alloy and we'll put away this one and we'll put away that one yes right so that's super alloy and I need the pink uh, quartz which was over here wasn't it I need five of those so this is gonna be the big first step to have super power right so the question is where can I put this and how big is this? This is quite small. Okay. Wow, I can probably fit a few of those in here. Um, okay, I'm just going to see if I can squeeze it in that gap. But, no. Mm. I'll probably squeeze two in there at least anyway. But that is going to be producing oodle bunnies of power we did have 44 when I checked before we went out we now have 1529 marvelous I can check how many drills I've got look I can see anything that's consuming power here so oh yeah hydration low biodome launch pad uh, an ore extractor times three and a T2 ore extractor times two. So I do not have one on the super alloy. With the power made, I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got water, I've got oxygen. The first thing I'm gonna do is something I've promised to do is go back over to the ship over here and start looking at deconstructing. Okay, another common larvae, which I will pick up as well because I'm guessing I might need them. I mean, they're obviously common. Otherwise, they'd be named something different, right? Um, but now I want to see if on the deconstruct, there's something here I can deconstruct. Because I was told that there are many walls or things around here I can deconstruct. And first things first, I need to find one. 
then I'll probably need to go back and get more oxygen, but I can't deconstruct any of those and nothing here. So let's just have a quick look down this way. No, no, this is where we found the soup. Okay. Okay, so we're now on the other side. These, no, there's some sort of wall glitch going on there. That looks like it shouldn't be happening. Um, not quite sure what's going on there. But no, there's nothing here I can deconstruct at the moment. Nothing that's lighting up for deconstruction. And no walls around here that are lighting up for deconstruction. Somewhere, I'm sure there were some computers that could be deconstructed. Hello. Deconstruct debris, which seems to be like behind. I've had that on a couple of doors. There's nothing here. These computer units can be deconstructed and they give me circuit boards. Which is definitely, oh hello, something I want. Okay, so there is a wall here that I can deconstruct. And that gives me access to a bunch of boxes with blueprints, some zeolite, some other useful goodies. Right, let's deconstruct all of those. There doesn't appear to be anything else here to deconstruct. So that appears to be it for now. And I'm rushing slightly because I'm a tad short on oxygen. Um, and I would like not to use my oxygen because I've got another outing planned shortly after. So I'm going to take this back and then we'll go on the next run. Okay, so I've put everything away and... We have the blueprint left to uncover, and here I have some osmium and some bits ready to make myself another ore extractor, which I'm going to try and put over where we're going to get some super alloy. So let's have a look at this blueprint a second. This is GPS Satellite T4, and we did unlock while I was there the Optimizer Machine um, T2 which someone did say to me, it said in here how many it could do. It says find and insert fuses in this to boost performance. But it doesn't say here, but apparently the small ones do five and the large ones do eight. Auto crafter. Interesting. Not ready for that yet. But I can see uses for setting these up. But yes, I... Again, I can see uses for these as well, but I would be far more tempted to get these to a state where I can put five of these around it beforehand, um, which require a whole bunch of osmium and super alloy. So that is one of the things that I need to swap. Let's just see if I can grab some food. I don't suppose the food is ready to eat yet. Not quite. Okay. We'll be fine. We have plenty of food. We'll just eat that for the time being. And I will go over and put down a super alloy mine, hopefully over here somewhere, that will be churning out super alloy. I'm wondering if I put it just as close as, he as here, which would be a handy place to put it, whether that will work. So I am going to just see if sticking it here will do the trick. No, it will not. Okay. So, need to get it far enough in that it's actually going to work. Because it has been pointed out to me by people in the comments multiple times that, um, yes, there is a satellite that apparently shows you where you can mine for what and I'm with you but unless I have a, tr a problem here with the super alloy which I don't think I will I think if I put it here it'll be fine um, I can work out on the most part what can be mined where just by finding the right place 
Okay, I lie. I do need to find somewhere that can mine super alloy. Because that's not going to fly. Alright, so new goal. Let's, find, let's see if we can stick that rocket up to find somewhere we can mine super alloy. Because I need super alloy. And it's very expensive to make that any other way. A few people said to me they're surprised I haven't upgraded the other ones. Mainly that's due to lack of materials at the moment, nothing else. So let's go and have a look at this rocket. Let's see what that requires. Let's hope it's nothing horrendous. Okay. Point of interest rocket. Hello? Why, why are you not letting me craft? Speak to you? Launch button? No. Why can I not interface with the crafting rocket? Uh, okay. There we go. Now it's going to work. That was weird. Still. Um, this is a drone visualization rocket. Displays drones on the mapping screen. I don't even have drones yet, so let's not go there. Um, I mean, if I had the super alloy, I would jump straight to the T4. Map information rocket. Oh, that's expensive. Um, microchip compass. Two osmium and super alloy. So this is going to involve me having to make a whole bunch more super alloy to make a uh, or hunt for a whole bunch more super alloy to make another super alloy rod but we'll do it you know what this time around i'm gonna eat these i've got enough fertilizer beautiful right let me see if i can rustle up the bits for that okay so we have the bits we need in hand i believe the so rocket should be a go Okay, this should be the the point of interest rocket required. At least I think so anyway. Map information rocket. So I'm hoping this will give us the effect. Any other effects for this rocket other than displays points of interest? No. Okay. So off it goes. Right. Let's go and see what that does for me. I mean, I could upgrade my inventory as well. There are things for that coming. Um, if I look, I think it's um, doo -doo 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 -doo, like over here somewhere. Is this one? But um, again, need a lot of super alloy, which I'm running a little low on at the moment to, to get a bunch of this. So let's have a look over on the map screen, which is over here. So, points of interest. Okay, there we go. We now do indeed have points of interest. So, apparently I can mine for uranium down here as well as where I'm mining for it in that cave. Osmium I can mine for over there, which I think is where I'm mining for it at the moment. Zeolite can be mined down that cave. Right, super alloy can be mined down over here somewhere so that is that's like under this one so I've got a little unit here there was the cave there so can I actually build on top of the rock here or is it under we'll go over there and have a look um, because that is definitely something we need to check out while I'm here, I'm just going to grab, because I've got some wood on the go. Got wood, people. Got wood. Um, I'm running out of space here for things like that. I'm just going to tuck the rest of this away, because I can't actually make the miner at the moment. But I want to go check out the area. But first things first, we're going to check out what's on top of this one what's up the big vine we saw okay before i headed up i've just picked up a few supplies so that hopefully i can build a unit if i need to okay there is what is 
there, that's a picture plan. As welcoming as that looks to stick something inside, do not do it. It will digest it. Right, uh, I'll take the zeolite. There's a bunch of zeolite up here. There is a container with some more T2 um, fertilizer, which I'm not using yet. But it's always good to have it in advance. I feel like I want to take those pitcher plants. Yeah, there's loads of zeolite here. Here I saw another larvae then just a second ago. Oh wow, we're already full. Um, okay. Anything I want. I want those two. And I can leave the rest. For the time being. Let's see what else we got up here. More zeolite. And there's my base. Okay, so I might as well take stuff back down to my base. And I'll go around the loop again. Okay, so this time I've left behind the bits to make a base if needed. I'm sort of counting on not needing a base. Wow, there's quite a few bits there. But I did pop by the osmium mine and pick up any osmium we had. Because, well, that's one of the things I desperately want. But, wow, am I picking up a bunch of stuff already. And we're going to be extremely full very quickly. Because, yep, zeolite here. Which we're actually picking up a surprising amount of. So that was the other one which we can now deconstruct. But there's nothing else here then. Just a little area. But not actually a way through other than the way we've literally been already. Okay, so with that I'll drop back down again, I'll drop all this back off at the base. I'm going to head back over to where the super alloy world is again. Okay, so we're heading back out now, over to this way. Now there's a little area to walk up over here. I do remember, and this sort of took us to sulfur lands. So this is kind of the dividing line. I would believe between iridium land over there and super alloy land here but my question is how do I get Hello. to super alloy land because that doesn't look like there's a cave just here that I can see um, so let's try going up the hill here. Uh, 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 come on, come on, jetpack. You can do it. You can do it. You've got me up everywhere else. So why can't you get me up here? Okay, it's like there's an invisible wall. As soon as I go the other side of the rock, I'm going to be able to go up. Yeah, let's go on top of the rock and go over. Okay. So we're on top here, on this essentially a plateau. Now, this plateau, there's no super alloy up here. I'm guessing I couldn't build an actual... Oh, maybe I can build a mine like on this little bit here. Okay. But I've not found any super alloy at all here. Sort of indicate to me that this is a land rich in super alloy. That's interesting in itself. I'm going to run out of O2 in a minute. Oh god, I fell through a rock. Okay, let's watch out for that. Oh, hello. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, there's something here instead. There is something here instead. We're talking underneath. Yes, we are talking underneath. Yep, yeah, this is definitely it. Right, we need to chow down on that O2. We don't normally need to chow down on O2 very much, but we're gonna we're gonna do it this time. Okay, so there is super alloy here. Probably enough, hopefully, 
to build another super alloy rod. And if we can get enough together to build a super alloy rod, that means we can build a mine because we've got everything else we need. Hello. This looks artificial. Yes, I've just got an achievement. A door. Yes, this looks very like an artificial door. Okay. Allens. Allens, many Allens. Um, please don't eat my brain. There's not much to have. And what I have I'm semi-using. Some people will question the amount of use it gets, but you know. Um, yeah, we're going to have enough here to make at least one super alloy rod, which will be enough to get us building or get us mining super alloy for the future. Ooh, we're full. Uh, I'm going to ditch these because I've got oh so many. I mean, I, in fact, I could ditch those as well. Look for some more super alloy because, in all honesty, I have those coming out of my proverbial. Um, right, I'm going to poodle around and just look for a little bit more super alloy, but then we're coming back to put down a mine. Okay, so, while I'm here... I've got enough super alloy to make another super alloy rod, which I'm going to use to upgrade my exoskeleton. Um, because that's going to be handy. I can't make the map though yet, which is annoying. I, mean, I can make the blueprint pinning thing. I don't really need the pinning thing like that, but I can make it. So part of me is kind of like, why the hell not? I don't believe I have any obsidian yet. So I haven't run into that anywhere. But I can definitely make the pinning thing. Um, with some couple of cobalt. A zeolite. Um, what is it? I'm going to need to... Oh, the super alloy might be a problem. We've got what just one super alloy left. Um, so that requires a super alloy. That doesn't. Magnesium and methane. Magnesium and aluminium. Okay, so magnesium, two off, I need. Aluminium, we're trying to burn through the aluminium now as well for some reason. Um, we've got, in all fairness, I just need to run around to the mines and pick stuff up because there is just, there is stuff everywhere. Um, I can't find my other, because my other aluminium is right here. That's why. Aluminium, and now I've forgotten the last thing I needed. So there was that one, which I can do, and methane cartridge. was the other one, which I'm keeping with the algae at the moment. So there we go. We can grab that and make chip one and chip two. Oh, cobalt short. Handily, that's close and chip two straight away so map pinning is now possible and have I got enough osmium on me to make that mine no I haven't that's fine I do have enough osmium and this is something else that will be coming up in the not too distant future as we start to get a bunch more um, super alloy we'll be able to upgrade all of those heaters over there in fact we've already got all those heaters over there upgraded it's these we need to upgrade um osmium and super alloy we'll be able to upgrade those to be the ones we need or the ones we would like to boost let's put it that way right so I'm going to go and place down a mine
what I need, or I've forgotten to bring with me, is something to make a little, a little home there. But this is what I mean by all I need to do is go around to the mines and pick stuff up. Because you come around here, we'll pick this up, and straight away, like here we've already got tons of uranium. We don't need the cobalt. We need titanium and <clears throat> not sure if we need magnesium, can't remember. Definitely think we need a silicon. But I'm gonna take these with me because I'm gonna I'm gonna take them home. Okay, so the question is can I make the mine literally just inside? I can. And does that now that is yes, mining super alloy, perfect. And just inside, can we put you somewhere? So you'll actually go green. Yep, there we go. And we'll put the door in. And what I didn't bring was enough iron to make a, a container. Whoops. But that's all right, because I'm sure if I go out here, I'll soon be able to find a piece of iron kicking around. There we go. That's enough to make one container. And I suspect I can easily get enough to make two. But I could also have just waited. And I will for certain get enough materials from what I'm looking at to make two. Well, what I'm looking at, I mean what I'm mining to make two. But we can make... One here, one here, and we'll just chuck that magnesium. Oh no, we'll take it with us, I guess. We'll take it with us for now. Might as well take that titanium with us. And I'll probably pick up, pop by one of the other mines and pick something up on the way back as well. I'm going to drop that back, and the next plan will be to go down to, he says, having forgotten, will be to go down to where everyone keeps telling me I can follow the GPS coordinates that are in the bottom of my screen and see if I can follow those GPS coordinates to the location mentioned in the note. Now, I don't remember what that location is. I'm going to have to go back down and read the, and read the note again, but that shouldn't be a big problem. So I'm all prepared. I'm taking food and water with me, even though my bars are pretty full. I am going to pop by on the way there. I'm going to pop by the uranium mine and just empty that out. Because again, it's all about at the moment keeping mines processing as well as actually just, you know, collecting the stuff and bringing it back. As much as anything, I just need to keep the actual ores I want coming in. So I'll need to pop by that one. And then I need to try and find that meteor location again, which I think is one of my colored markers. So I can deal with that. What I should be doing is probably putting colored markers on my mines now that I've got three of them and I'm planning more. Well, one thing I will say is, holy crap, is this uranium mine efficient? I mean, it is bringing almost pure uranium. There were very few other metals there. So much so that I popped by and picked up a few other bits there, bioplastic nuggets, um, some super alloy that was there, and a few bits like that to bring back. I'm actually heading home again, and I'm going to do the rounds here and head back over to the base yet again and then we'll head back over to where the meteor is because I didn't realize how far off course I was in terms of um, where the meteor is versus where I was going to the uranium mine. Okay, while we are home, I'm thinking to make the incubator. I'm not sure I've got a use for it at the moment. I've certainly got the spare power. Um, so I'm thinking to make one anyway, just to sort of find out. I mean, I don't know about the 
DNA manipulator, I could probably make one of those as well. But I'm going to start off with one of these and, and see. I also created a few more boxes here for when I'm storing things like bark and stuff like that for later. So we'll grab that in. I required super alloy and oxygen. So super alloy. Fortunately, we have some super alloy available at the moment. So let's see. If, why don't I put one down here? You don't mind. Um, there we go. Like over here. At least for now, over here seems good. You can sort of stick it here. So, show DNA recipes, open incubator. So, uncommon larvae, common larvae, mutagen, fertilizer. So we can start to make some weird and wonderful things here. But the incubator has nothing in it at the moment. I mean, part of me is tempted, one, I just build one. Like, I have the stuff to build this. Um, I don't have the stuff to build much else. But I do have the stuff to build that. I'll drink that for a minute. Um, let's give it a go. I'm just intrigued, to be honest. Have one of these. I have a bunch of those. And what else was it I needed? Fertilizer standard, which I've got in here. So, let's give it a go. Um, how, how do I do it? Did that work? Uh, research, no match found. If I put that in, can I research it? No match found. Okay. So why can't I click this at the moment and make it? It doesn't seem to work like, like the thing. I can pin the recipe. Show DNA recipes. What if I... Okay. What if I do that? Okay. It's, it's off and running doing its thing. That seems like what I wanted it to do. Seems like. I'm not sure it's what I wanted it to do, but it seems like what I wanted it to do. Right, let's just make another O2 a second. Just in case. We can grab some water on the way. There's probably O2 here. We'll grab one spare there. Grab the water. And I'm going to head off over to the meteor and we can come back and find out about the sequence butterfly doobie firkin later on i'm also wondering if there's a shortcut here now because i'm seeing a vine here and i'm seeing a gigantic waterfall over that way which we haven't quite investigated yet okay things have changed a little since i was last here um there is no uh, mist here anymore and the crater is well full of water uh, meaning that I believe my base here sorry in screenshot mode is actually underground sorry underwater which it is so I'm not gonna get a lot of oxygen from this um, what have we got? Oh god, the storage is full. Crap. Okay. Here comes the plan. What have we got? Let's take all of that. And let's deconstruct that one. And then I'm going to have to go and move this up onto this little plateau. And hope this doesn't fill up further. Which I suspect it probably will. But... I'm going to do it anyway for now. 
no titanium. Fantastic. Andy, that'll do. Titanium, you say. There we go. And what do we need to make a door? More titanium. Titanium, you say. <laughs> That's convenient. All right. So that will fill us up with O2. And, yep, we still have enough iron here to put a storage down, which is perfect, because now I can store most of this stuff. And take two of those for the time being. And then I'll go and grab all the other bits. And I see something up there, blue as well it just caught my eye there there was something up there standing out that was bluish right let's grab oh, most things from there gonna have to make another run <laughs> i didn't actually think this base would be underwater i have the same problem in the zeolite cave actually um there's a bunch of the bait of the base i built there disappearing underwater which is, um, should we say, subpar. So anyway, we need to go to the area that's underwater here as well. There's probably a, um, what was it? The little ladder thing that was underwater there. We're going to need to go there. So we're going to need to grab you, I'm afraid, Mr. Beacon, and the door. I have to grab it all. I'll have to put the beacon back up and everything. So, here we go. At least now, hopefully, we're out of the woods in terms of things being submerged. Let's grab some of this a second, actually. Let's not chuck it away yet because I want to get the beacon up here. Where's the beacon, this thing? There we go. Right, and you were sort of an orangey colour. There we go. And... you can, Oh, you can have a name. So this is the... Uh, meteor. There we go. Hopefully I spelled that right. Probably not, but you know. Right, let's chuck those bits in as well. Get rid of that. Okay. What is the green glow over there? I am drawn to the strange green glow. What is this? Oh. I mean, it's not what I th thought it would be. It's cobalt. which is slightly disappointing. I was expecting it to be something more exciting from the um, odd glow that it had, but never mind. Right, so somewhere along here, underground, is the ladder. I'm going to try and find that a minute. Okay, so I found it. As it turns out, that wasn't actually cobalt. That was actually turned out to be oh I can deconstruct this really okay why not construct it for me no okay can't deconstruct underwater apparently right so minus 580 85 15 20 see it says that minus 580 85 15 20 I'm going to write that down a minute. Okay, I've written that down. Hopefully that's going to prove helpful. Yeah, it turned out though that was not cobalt, it was osmium. Um, so, actually kind of useful. Right, I'm going to go up and see what's up there. That might actually be more osmium from a meteor. So, I'm just going to go up there and see. Because... Well, I can't complain if there's, like, osmium just lying around here. That's cobalt. 
but that oh no this is the little blue thing is a couple of solar panels here and this is the location i needn't have written it down at all it's what i could see okay um i probably should have filled up with air before i came down here okay let's take the doors down Unfortunately, I do have a couple of air canisters on me, so it'll be fine. This is why I came prepared. Okay, this place is big. This place is very big. Um, what are you? Like, small jet engines. Oh, we have a couple of oxygen cylinders here. And why can't I take that apart? That's an oxygen boost. Okay. I'm kind of going to get turned around here in a minute. I'm starting to think we're going a long way in. Let's um take some of that oxygen. We've got iron. Okay, we've got a message. Sending attempt, 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 attempt. Okay, that didn't go well. And yeah, can't deconstruct the stuff inside. Stuff worth having, indeed, and can't deconstruct that, which is odd to me. Okay, I'm not actually going to take all this apart yet, because I'm going to use it to remind me where I need to go, because this place is mahoosive. Right, I'm going to drop some stuff back. Okay, so I've been back and dropped off. I also found some super alloy on the floor, which was also pretty handy. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go the other way just to see if it's just as crazy as the way I've just been. Okay, so this might actually meet up. So let's go this way. We're going through here. We've got some more notes. We've got another container with plenty of good stuff in it. And what does this mess up? How many days have I spent on this planet? I can't tell anymore. Does my family even remember me? I miss them so much. I miss everything that is not a red rock at this point. Is somebody waiting for me back home? Is there really any chance of me getting out of here? I'm doing my best to survive. I'm getting better and better at it. Maybe some help will come. Maybe they'll send a rescue team. There's no way nobody is looking for us. Looking for me. Well, maybe. Um, yeah, I can take these apart, can I? And there's a deconstruct debris here as well. And what are you? You're just a constructor y sort of thing, or made to look like a constructor thing. You're a tree. I take the rod and we'll leave the sulfur for now. I'm going to take all this back because, again, the iron comes in handy. Yeah, this is doubling back here. The iron comes in handy to make more containers but back there at the meteor. So, it's win-win. Okay, right. Drop some more stuff back. And this guy obviously had quite a few resources, all in all. You can grab those bits. He was doing pretty well. So we cleared all this out. We've cleared this way out. Let's go through here and see if this joins up with the other area. Because I'm starting to get almost turned around. Yeah, I think this is joining up with the other area. Yeah, there was a bunch of boxes here. Osmium. Some more super alloy. We picked up quite a bit of super alloy, which is handy given the fact that I was whining about not having any super alloy. So, that's pretty good news. Holy crap, more good stuff here. I mean, I am going to leave some of this iron, well, behind at the moment. I mean, so many iridium rods as well. Alright, I'm going to be making yet another trip back. And then I guess we go down on yet another level. Because. Yeah, there's level after level after level here. 
Okay, so I believe I've cleared everything out on this level now. I've picked up the last of those bits and we're going to head down to the next level. Where, hello, there's some quartz. Oh, I'm thinking that might be a super duper crystally thing. Why can't I deconstruct that? Let me deconstruct the sofa and the bed. Why not? Why not? Um, okay, we can pick that up, that's for sure. And some more osmium and bits. A couple of food processors, which I also can't deconstruct, which is disappointing. And another message, which says, What if I just stay here forever? I found a big enough... I found enough ice to drink, and my crops are getting bigger and bigger. I successfully set up an energy source with a few solar panels, and for now at least, I finally have a bit of comfort. Could I spend all of my life by myself? Do you need company to live? Will I die alone? There's something really strange about this planet. I can't put my finger on it. But the more time I spend here, the more I want to stay. It's nonsense. Okay. So, is that like the effect of the aliens or does he just is he just feeling homely so that's pretty much this whole area cleaned out and i mean we've not found a body so assumably he's well i'm not going to say he's still alive but assumably he went to somewhere else a better place maybe but I think, for now, I can grab, I guess, these bits, because he's not using them. Not that I'm sure I really need the parts. But I can grab them and use them for whatever I need. And, uh, if we have a look, you'll see that we've got quite a lot of osmium. A reasonable amount of super alloy. I'm going to put all this iron away and I'll put the cobalt in there as well and we've got quite a few bits in general um, of good stuff enough to make a couple of trips worth so I'm going to ferry this back home in between episodes because I'm going to say thank you very much for watching like and subscribe as always and join us again next time when uh I don't know, hopefully there'll be more mysteries. Thanks a lot.